Yo, what's the scene, Trinidad and Tobago? Welcome to another episode of Cosin. Today, we're going to be going across our beautiful sister island, Tobago, and we're going to be hunting for the infamous, invasive lionfish. These lionfish are venomous, and just to touch quickly on what the difference between a venomous animal and a poisonous one is. Venom is toxin that's injected into you. So the lionfish spike has venom in it, and once it penetrates your skin, it gets into your system, which could cause a lot of pain and even get you ill. Another example of a venomous animal would be our mapapi. So one of our local venomous species is the Fredolans mapapi. That's venomous. It injects you obviously through his fangs. A poisonous animal is something like a frog. So we have kintos in Trinidad. We like to call them crapo. And them crapo have poison glands and they have toxin inside these glands. And if you eat that frog, which I mean, you shouldn't be really eating that frog, but if that gets into your system, through your skin, through your eyes, through your mouth, then you could become ill. An easy way to remember it is like this. If you bite me and I die, that's venomous. If I eat you and I die, that's poisonous. So we can eat these lionfish. They're not poisonous. The biggest concern is catching and handling these fish. And once you know what you're doing with that, then you should be safe. It's a sunny morning and the conditions are perfect where I could find some rocks and swim off the shore. I'll be searching cracks, caves and holes as these lionfish love to stay hidden in these dark areas where it's easy to ambush their prey. But enough of this talk, let's go and jump in the sea. I took some time, kind of scoped out the area, see where the lionfish were. Now it's time to dive down and get our first fish. So this is the first one I targeted. You always try to get a headshot. You may not get to kill them, but at least you get a gill shot or if you're lucky you could get a headshot and stone the fish. That way you don't damage your meat. You really want to be careful not to damage those fillets. First fish on a stringer, time to get a couple more. So for those of you who don't already know, lionfish are not indigenous to Trinidad and Tobago or the Caribbean or the Atlantic Ocean. They're actually a Pacific species that were introduced to the Atlantic and the Caribbean 
and they become a little bit of a problem. They thrive in these tropical waters and what they do is they eat everything and they take over these reefs. So hunting and eating lionfish is actually encouraged. It keeps the numbers down and it keeps our reefs safe. So we want to help out plus it's a tasty treat. It's a win-win situation folks. Get those lionfish, fill your plate, keep the environment safe. Alright, so we have five decent sized lionfish so far and uh, I'm seeing one more nice sized ones. Some of the smaller ones have moved off so I'm not going to try to get them but one more nice one and I'm probably going to wrap it up. There's a little bit of sightseeing on the way out to the water and yeah, I'll check out that sleeping tits and let's see what else is around. Let's go! Well, they can't tell me that was not an enjoyable experience seeing that turtle sleeping. And yes, sea turtles do sleep underwater. Typically speaking, they come up every couple of minutes when they're active and they're feeding. But when a turtle is resting, they could hold their breath for up to two hours. Study that. While that guy is catching up on some sleep, you and I are going to check out some caves and rock channels. But not before we go and check out a curious barracuda that's been looking at me from behind a rock. Thank you. 
Ooh. Is there goats up there? <laughs> ah. <sighs> it's a pretty cool tidal pool there. Eh? Surrounded by rocks. Whew. Pretty fun little dive, yo. You are done, no folks. After having some fun in those channels, I headed out to look for some marine life. A lot of the free diving videos on this channel mainly consist of spearfishing, but it doesn't mean I'm not out there observing and appreciating everything that swims, walks, or crawls my way. You know, I love camping, I love outdoors. My parents raised me like that, my father always took me outdoors, and I love the bush, but he also raised me in the ocean. And there's nothing that quite compares to that feeling I get when I'm under the surface. When you're free diving, you're on one breath, you're under there with the marine life. There's truly something profound about that experience. And everything that happens outside, all the noise of the outside world, phones, distractions, media, work, no matter what's on your mind, whether it's good or bad, everything just clears once you're below the surface on that one breath. And anything that I see, whether it's old or new, it always fascinates me. We have several lion fish on the stringer and we're heading back to the shore and as I'm heading back I look down and I see a ledge and I say well let you go and check out this ledge as I dip my head under the whole entire ledge is loaded with lobster now Trinidad has a good few species of lobster the most common one you would see is called the Caribbean spiny lobster and those get to large sizes sometimes in excess of 10 pounds the ones I found today are called spiny spotted lobsters. A lot of the locals call them Spanish lobsters. You may hear me refer to it as Spanish lobster. They don't get as big, but they taste really good. And we're going to be taking a couple home for dinner.
I got a few Spanish lobsters and I decided, hey, I'm just gonna tail them one time and clean them while I'm in the water. So I get the tails off and I stick them up in my wetsuit because I don't really have a place to put them. As I'm dropping the pieces of the lobster that I don't want, a bunch of fish are coming around and I'm eating it. So I'm gonna take you guys down and we're gonna check out those fish. These two white and black butterfly fish were the first to show up. A couple other species were quick to join as well. Let's see how much we can name. This yellow guy swimming up to your rock, well that's a French grunt. This blue beauty is a princess parrotfish. The greedy guy in the back there, yeah you, eating that lobster leg. That's a blue striped grunt. Boss, you need some curry with that leg or? And this one up in front with the stripes, that's a smallmouth grunt. So quite a few species of grunts. Now that guy on the left there, that's a Grazebee grouper. And Grazebee groupers are known to be very greedy. If you don't believe me, just watch and see why. Everybody having a good time getting a slice of the pie. This fella comes in, grabs up the whole rack of legs and gone with it, you know. Typical Grazeby grouper behavior. So I climb up on the shore and you can see all those bumps in my wetsuit. Those are actually the lobster tails that I had no place to put. So I just stuffed them into my wetsuit. Alright, so that was a pretty enjoyable and successful little dive there. Ended up with seven lionfish, plus we got a couple lobsters to throw in the mix too, so we should have enough for dinner. We definitely should have enough food for dinner. Also got to do a little bit of sightseeing, so got to see a little sleeping turtle and stingrays. And then I got to feed the fish at the end there. So it was an enjoyable dive and I'm going to head across now and get these fish filleted for dinner. So catch you guys on the filet mission next. the venomous barb looks like before it comes out of the skin that covers it, the pretty skin and it's clear like this when you clean the skin off you can tie it to the end of a stick and use it as a dart all right ready fry fish all right are we red onions here Three well placed red onions, two tomatoes, fresh salad, make sure everything stay on top, boom, a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of garlic sauce, and of course, a little pepper and shallow any mix. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the moment we'll be waiting on. Mmm. -hmm. That, my word, that was good. That is actually really good. Wow, worth it. And I have a few more of these to go through. All right, well, I'm gonna finish this off. We'll be gonna close off the video now. Belly going bus tonight, watch and see. Real food still on the table, and let me tell you, nothing going to waste, eh? I hope you all enjoyed the episode. I want to thank you all for coming on this adventure with me. And all you, get out and explore now. Let me go and have some fun. We're living on islands. The ocean is calling me. There we go.